exercise. How important is this? Let's look at journal articles that support it. And I'm not talking seven days a week in the gym. I'm talking minimal exercise. Let's look at the Heart Vessels Journal. Exercise increased angiogenesis and decreases inflammation and calcifying activity. Angiogenesis is the body actually regenerating blood vessels. This means that you're bringing more oxygen to the tissue. Amazing. According to the Clinical Science Journal, now exercise prevents plaque development and induced the regression of coronary stenosis. Wait a second. Reduce coronary stenosis? Does that mean that exercise might possibly prevent bypass surgeries? Wow! Is exercise really that important? Stenosis means narrowing. This means your blood vessels that used to be big and healthy are now getting constricted. Why? Because of toxic deficient lifestyle or less movement. So it turns out that movement, that exercise, a little bit of exercise every day, increases angiogenesis. That means healthy blood vessels and decreases that stenosis. That means if you've got a stenotic plaque, that the exercise can reduce that. This is huge. According to the Journal of Sports Medicine, increased angiogenesis, neurogenesis, synaptogenesis, and the synthesis of neurotransmitters. So it not only regenerates blood vessels, it regenerates the nervous system the nerve connectors, the synaptogenesis. This is hugely important. Everybody watching this is going to be at a different state of health. Some people are going to be triathletes. Some people are going to be couch potatoes. Some people haven't worked out in years. What's the best way to start? I'm going to tell you the best exercise is walking. Walking is the best way to start. And I'm talking not just walking, but walking barefoot on an uneven grounded surface. See, it turns out that the Earth has an electronegative charge. And if you have skin on Earth contact, that actually creates an antioxidant effect and that helps you with tissue regeneration. So skin on Earth is vital. It's called grounding. According to the Journal of Alternative and Complementary Medicine, grounding appears to be one of the simplest, yet most profound interventions for helping reduce cardiovascular risk and cardiovascular events. Think of that, walking on a grounded surface. This means grass or wet sand next to the water. Just walking can reduce cardiovascular risk factors half hour a day. It seems too simple, but start at whatever level you're at. We've had patients in a walker that can't bend their legs rock back and forth. We've had patients in wheelchairs who could at least move their arms. If you can't move anything, you can at least breathe for exercise. Breathing through your nose and then out through your mouth. That's going to help. That's, that's, an, that's an exercise that will oxygenate your body, that will help lymph flow. So at whatever level health you're at, the best way to start is now.